our economics has been driven very much by, by traditional uh, single factor evaluation. And, and indeed, that, that has not really helped um, give an understanding of the multi factors that, multiple factors that, that um, matter and how we do risk benefit management in this complex area. I deliberately put up a picture of, of two very eminent uh, economists. In fact, they won the Nobel Prize, um, uh, Professors Roth and Shapley, this year, because they started the process of looking at game theoretic economics. And when you think about how the negotiations and the evaluations work in this type of area, you find that actually some of the foundations of their economics is relevant to what we're doing. To bring it down to a little bit more prosaic area, putting a value on resilience is really important. Most of you have insurance policies for something in your houses and, or cars. It's regulatory, regulated, of course, for your cars because you might damage someone else. But you don't have to have insurance for property unless the mortgage uh, broker says you should. So when you say, have we invested in resilience? Have we put enough extra engineering or provision in the way it's operated in uh, infrastructural components. Unless there's a safety issue, which in nuclear and in aviation and in one or two other areas, rail in particular, there is, you find that actually, well, if the market has chosen how to do it and it isn't regulated that there is more resilience, there isn't. And so when things fail, and this is exactly what's happened in New Jersey, you find actually people are in a very difficult position because they don't have enough provision either to prevent things happening or to recover from things happening. So putting a price and a value on resilience is a major economic challenge. And indeed, we're doing at my university, but also in other universities, work with the Treasury on trying to understand how to do that. In fact, we're not only doing it with the Treasury. We'll be pleased to know we're doing it with the European Investment Bank um, because there's something to do with the resilience of Europe in the whole of this as well.